you understand that people get hurt. You understand that people get killed. But what we do can take away all hope. It can take away your identity. It can take away your belief in just about everything. And the military has, sends these soldiers into battle and then kicks them out when they come back, if they're disabled. They should be the ones that take care of them, support them. I was screaming inside. I didn't know how to live this life. I didn't know how to handle this transition from sight to no sight. Things just got worse and worse. I remember one day I was just sitting around feeling frustrated with myself and I just yelled, damn it, so I'm blind, so what? I'm still alive. I have a life to live here. I have to figure out how to do this. On July 26, 1990, Congress passed the Americans with Disabilities Act. In the years since that law has passed, the standard of living for people with disabilities has improved greatly. In fact, currently over 13% of the federal workforce are people with disabilities. After all, one of our most important presidents was Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and he skillfully and successfully guided our country through the end of World War II, possibly the darkest time in the history of our planet. And FDR was not just our president, but he was also the commander-in-chief of our military. And he did all that while spending most of his adult life in a wheelchair. A nation that says, if you keep working hard, we won't abandon you. I have the will to survive. If I get what I need, stay alive. And I don't indulge in feeling so deprived I gotta make a move to get myself satisfied